Okay, on this video we're going to simplify complex fractions that have mixed numbers in them, okay? <coughs> so we'll do example 1, example 2, and example 3. So let's start in example 1. And let's see, 2 plus uh, 3 and 2 thirds. I mean, how do you think you would do this? Remember that, you know, this guy is going to turn into a division at some point, right? But, like, let's see, two, I mean, th when I see that, I go, you know what, I'm just going to add those together, because 2 and 3 and 2 thirds, isn't that just 5 and 2 thirds? I think I'm just going to do that. I mean, it looks like the easiest thing to do right now. Uh, 2 and 5 sixths subtract 1. Okay, what's the easiest thing to do with that? 2 and 5 sixths subtract 1. Well, isn't that 1 and 5 sixths? Because you're just going 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Now, okay, I have, this is, this is now a little bit messy at this point, because look, I've got 5 plus 2 thirds basically all over 1 plus 5 sixths. I mean, that's what I've got. I mean, so the, I have to do so. I can't just divide here. I mean, I have to do something with this, right? So, I, what do you think we should do? When mixed numbers aren't working out for us, what do we turn them into usually? Turn them into improper fractions? Let's try that. 3 times 5, 15. 15 plus 2, 17. 17 thirds, right? So, it's equal to 17 thirds over. 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 and 5 is 11 sixths. Oh my goodness, I think we know how to do this, don't we? So just like in the other homework, you've got this fraction, 17 thirds, divided by this fraction, 11 sixths. So this is the same thing as 17 thirds divided by 11 sixths, and I think we can get that, right? So it's 17 thirds multiplied by 6 over 11. Does anything cross cancel? 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. Anything else cross cancel? Not that I see, let's see. Two. So 17 times 2. 2 times 7 is 14, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 is 3, so 34. 1 times 11 is 11. And that's the answer as an improper fraction. Let's give that as a mixed number. Okay. So 11 into 34 goes, 3 11s is 33, right? So 11 to 34 goes 3 times remainder, remainder 1. So 3 and 1 11, right? So example 2, 2 and 3 quarters minus 1 and a half. Hmm. Over four and a quarter plus two and a half. By all means, press pause and try and do it yourself. See what you come up with. You know, when I look at this, I'm thinking the you know, first thing I'm going to do, and I didn't. We did in the last, the last uh, problem too. Um, and it's the same steps as, as just the problems we did previous, which are first of all, basically, you know, calculate the top. Just figure out the top, then calculate the bottom, and then use the divide sub by sign for for this fraction bar. Okay. So um, I'm going to calculate the top first of all, and I think I'll um, just use lots of space. And I'm just going to go. Okay, four times two is eight. Eight and three is eleven. So that's eleven quarters minus. Let's see, two times one is two, and one is three. Right, three over two. Now what? Can you make the bottoms the same and subtract those fractions? Can you find the lowest common denominator? Subtract the fractions, right? 2 times what gives 4? 2 times 2, right? So this has given me uh, 11 quarters minus 6 quarters, which is, because 3 times 2 is 6, so 11 minus 6 is 5. I've got 5 quarters, okay? So, on that 
fraction bar stays underneath everything. So this top becomes 5 quarters. So great. The first step I decided is, you know what, I'm just going to calculate the top, see what happens. Okay, I got 5 quarters. I'm just going to leave it as an improper fraction. Okay. Now the bottom. Calculate the bottom. 4 times 4. I'm going to turn these into um, improper fractions and see what happens, right, first of all. 4 times 4, 16. 16 and 1, 17. 17 quarters, right, plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4 and 1 is 5, right, 5 over 2. Now, what can you do with that? Times the bottom by 2. Now you've got 4 in the bottom. My 2 times 2 is 4, but multiply, multiply top by uh, 2 as well. So we get 17 quarters plus 10 quarters, which is 27 quarters, right? So I have 5 quarters, 5 over 4, divided by 27 over 4. I'm going to write that out again. 5 over 4 divided by 27 over 4. And that's the same thing as 5 over 4 multiplied by flip it, 4 over 27, right? Now, what cross cancels? You only cross cancel when you're multiplying, remember that? Always, you can only cross cancel when you're multiplying fractions. So 4 and 4 goes once here and here, and I get 5 times 1 is 5 on the top, and 1 times 27, 27 on the bottom, okay? But if this doesn't simplify, but if, if your answer does simplify, please do it. Like put in lowest terms or write it as a mixed number. So all fractions in lowest terms and, and, and all you know everything is a mixed number as well. Okay, so by all means press pause and do this guy by yourself and then see if you get the same answer. Or you could race me if you like. Okay. So we've got this divided by this, right? So I'm just going to follow my same steps here. I'm just going to, you know, calculate the top, then calculate the bottom, and then use the divide by sign for uh, this middle fraction bar. So I need to first start and calculate the top. <coughs> All right, let's see. Two and three quarters plus one and a sixth. You know what? I'm just going to turn them into improper fractions. Four times two is eight. Eight and three is eleven. Eleven fourths plus six times one is uh, six, and six and one is seven. Seven sixths. Okay. Now I don't have a lowest common denominator, so I can't add those right away. I've got to get a lowest common denominator. Right? So I'm going to times those guys by something. Now, what's the lowest common denominator? What's the lowest common multiple of four and six? Well, let's see. I might just do this: six, uh, and then twelve. Two sixes is twelve. Hold on a second. Four goes into twelve, right? Or you could do okay four. 8, 12, right? So 6 goes into 12, 4 goes into 12, right? 4 times what gives 12? 4 times 3, right? So times this by 3 over 3. And 6 times what gives 12? 6 times 2. So times this by 2 over 2. And I get 33 over 12 plus 14 over 12. Okay, which is? 3 and 4 is 7, 3 and 1 is 4, 47 twelfths. Okay? Now, this fraction bar is here and this they're all equal to each other, right? So I've calculated the top, now I'm going to calculate the bottom. So same way, I'm just going to turn these into improper fractions. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 and 1 is 7, 7 thirds. Okay? <coughs> Minus. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 and 1 is 7, 7 quarters, right? Now make the bottoms the same. You've got thirds and quarters. Well, you could do the multiples 3, 6, 9, 12, 4, 8, 12. Okay, they both go into 12. Or you could just say, look, I need a 4 here and a 3 here if I want the bottoms to be the same, right? Anyway, so times this guy by 4 over 4, times this guy by 3 over 3. 4 7's 28, I've got 28 twelfths minus 7 3's 21, 21 twelfths, what does that give me? 28 minus 21, 8 minus 1 is 7, 
2 minus 2 is 0, so 7 twelfths, right? So it's 47 twelfths all over 7 twelfths. So I'm going to go this fraction divided by this fraction. 47 twelfths divided by 7 twelfths, which is 47 over 12 multiplied by flip this guy, 12 over one, 7. Now when I'm multiplying I can cross cancel. So 12 and 12 goes once here and here and 47 times 1 is 47 1 times 7 is 7 so this is an improper fraction, that's the answer, is an improper fraction and um, can I put it as a mixed number? 7 into 47 goes 6 times remainder Remember, 6 times 7 is 42, so it's going to be remainder 5, isn't it? So 6 and 5 sevenths. Yep, 